Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I just came from playing Bloom's TD Battles, which uh, is a great game. Go download it. Which I will be playing tomorrow for uh, my first video. But today's video is going to be about the almighty Kiho. Yeah, this is not the tank you want to go to when you want to play a good tank. And I'm not saying it's a bad tank, it's mediocre, it's about as bad as the M3 Lee. Um, so, yeah, it's basically an M3 Lee with a turret. Now, I saw something, this is really good. I, it's come before, and uh, yeah, I recommend you to go buy it, it's only like fifty dollars yeah and it's uh really good now i don't know why i don't have like crew and stuff uh, not crew um whatever these are called like equipment yes uh, that uh, that allows consumables to last longer yes um, okay, there, that, that, that's what I mainly load out for, um, my tanks. It's the only one that you go, um, left on is this one, because it reduces the aiming time. I know the velocity and, uh, the, the, um, penetrate. Oh, wow, okay, never mind. Um, supercharge is actually good, but, um, okay. I can load into a game here, and yes, I uh, I like gaming time, I like dispersion, all of that stuff, but minus like 50 on uh, penetration, like that's incredible, um, that's actually really good, but um, okay, more top tier. I only played like one game in this, and then I was done because uh, it, 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 it's a boring tank. Let me just say that that Hetzer right there. Yeah, I could do the exact same thing the Hetzer can do. I can do the exact same that Panzer 4D can do. It's just, it's just a little boring after a while. Now the reload, I believe, is pretty good for a 160 Alpha gun at uh, tier 4. It's like, it's as good as tier 5. Oh, I didn't know that it um, had a pepper gun. Huh, I, I think this is like, how much Alpha are we talking here? Come on, poke it, someone. Okay. Uh, this should be about a 90 damage gun. <laughs> but, uh, I'm getting into the position here so that they can't shoot me. Are you kidding me? Panzer 3, stop moving. Stop moving. I will, uh, slap you. Okay, so it's, uh, it's 90 alpha, it looks like. Now, finally getting a penetration into that Panzer 3. I will shoot that Panzer, uh, 4 D, that is so yeah you can see it's not enough anything special like you could play a what is that the I, it's like a British tank um, and it's like the mark 9 something um, but anyways that was a nice shot into him and then we can aim for your lower plate and get a kill so overall this tank is pretty good it's it's boring that's what i have to say and it seems like i've been shooting all game and i'm only like almost at now at 500 damage like uh yeah um now we can load he yes get some those beautiful numbers out and get a second kill and if this uh, ue57 wants to play i am fast so I should be able to get over this ridge and kill him easily like that without auto aim because you know I am skill. So uh, we can. I that was a nice shot. Did not expect that to actually go in, and uh, we can get a shot into the rear of him, 
I guess. Uh, also, uh, now we can get a, not a mobilizing shot. Uh, that's just fine because uh, he's not going anywhere. And there we go, my kill. So four kills, um, one K damage. Now nobody really plays this tank, so I don't know like how much damage you need for an ace tanker, anything like that. Okay, second class. So yeah, the Type Five Kiho. That was a pretty good game, but so. A lot of people are playing it, that tells me, because um, I did 1k damage, 4 kills, that's pretty hard, well not pretty hard, but that's kind of hard to top, um, but I do say now playing in it, it's like the Valentine Mark 9, but way faster, so over the Valentine Mark 9, well the Valentine Mark 9 does have insane armor and 120 millimeters of penetration. Yeah, some tier fives are wishing they had that much. Um, but the Kiho, I feel like, is kind of better than the Valentine Mark Nine because it can flank the enemy. It can easily snap a shot and get back into cover. Um, the mo uh, Alpha's key, but when this tier has like little alpha it's really mobility and um like armor because no one knows how to penetrate it but the kiho i believe it has decent armor it's very small it's like the kini and the kiniotsu um kiniotsu is no longer in the game well it is actually some people who did get it when it came out did. Okay, I'm not even tall enough to get shot by this bunker. I shot the bunker to see, like, uh, if I could shoot over it. Um, I am moving because if there is someone camping in the bush and spots me, yeah. But it has good HP, too. Um, good HP, too. So, yeah, we can just come up. It's okay, he's not alone. This guy's more deadly, so we're going to get a snap into him. So that tank has the capability of dealing 200 damage uh, at tier 3. Yeah, it, the, the SU-76I is insane for a tier 3 tank at that. Now, being rushed by a BT-7 and an M7 was not my actual plan, but since we have insane damage per minute, well, okay. No help is nice, but this guy's skill. Why are we on Normandy? This is tier four and three. Right, they uh, they put all of those maps that are for high tier for lower tiers. I don't like that. Cause Norm I mean, fine, because the Normandy does teach you like all the spots on the map, like ridge lines, uh, how to camp if you're like a tank destroyer, or to push if you're a medium, but tier three, like, okay. Well, if you guys did enjoy today's video, which I know some of you guys may, that means I will see you in the next one. So, yeah.